Welcome, everybody, to Crusader Kings 2 Dungeon Master, or whatever it is we're calling this one. So why are we on the, the, the load game screen? Well, yesterday I put a poll up on Discord. I basically had a day off yesterday, pre-recorded yesterday's content. I say a day off. I bought myself a day that I could dedicate to working on this mod. Now, on Discord, I put up a survey, which I'll also link in the comment section of this episode as well, because I'll be obviously interested in your feedback about what you guys want me to do with this mod because i figured i've sunk a lot of time into it it would be good to uh, make it as good as possible you know i'm actually going to commit to making this a pretty decent mod I'm not just going to rush it out to match the start of the series or anything like that like i was originally planning on so yesterday i completely rewrote the mod from scratch all of the core mechanics have been changed the events are still the same that obviously it fires but the core mechanics the variable holdings everything has been r completely rebuilt from scratch to allow not only for multiplayer compatibility but for allow uh, to, to, to basically allow for a lot more things I can do with it. I'll show you that as we load in. Be warned, because I've done that, as we load in now, things are going to get a bit fucky. Um, the same way they would changing mods midway through any CK2 save might. I imagine our traits are going to be a mess. No, they're not. What? <laughs> they look fine to me. Uh, do we have all of this stuff? We're, we're fat, we're a hedonist, we're gluttonous. I think this is all the same, isn't it? Our husband was definitely not astute, though. Uh, okay, that's changed a little bit. What about our air? Um, it's gone a little bit gouty, but besides that, everything looks relatively okay. So obviously I've added some new traits into things, which has a habit of breaking things. Now, let's let it run a week just so that things can, things can sort themselves out here with the new systems I've added in place. I had to add new systems to make it save game compatible as well, which took a lot of extra effort. But instead now of the way it worked last time was a player would be randomly selected, obviously playing single player, it'd be you, would be randomly selected as the dungeon master's um messenger essentially you were made the, the the dungeon master for all intents and purposes and the, the the game would throw events at you and then apply it to the rest of the players as was appropriate now there is actually a dungeon assuming it's working a dungeon master character out there in the world there he is dm dungeon master who is again out there he's an unlanded ruler same way you might have the pope obviously being unlanded this guy just exists out there in the world what he'll do is all the events will now go through him and he will notify the players about what's going on the way I think it probably should be. So this is going to be interesting because now we won't get notified immediately. You know, when he used to roll the dice, we used to be told about that. He used to get kind of a hint of what was going on. Now he's just going to tell us what's going down, which I like the idea of. And the message will actually come from his character as well. Now, because he is technically a character, you can also have opinions of it and stuff like that. Um, he has a little invisible trait that gives him bonus opinion, but he doesn't like us very much. Which we could, again, use as a mechanic. Now, the survey also had a lot of stuff about um, things to be included with regards to events. Whether you wanted, you know, bigger events that would take me longer to make. So there would be less of them or smaller events, which would be a bit more generic, like trait changes and smaller things. But I'd be able to make more of them, so there would be more variety. Things like uh, references to other things in events, uh, whether or not you want them to be high fantasy, low fantasy, whatever. Go check that out anyway, and I'll, I'll take your feedback from that. Now, with regards to the series, then... Looks as if we kind of got away with it. Um, we didn't have to take too much damage from the mod being rebuilt in the background here. Um, I think she is actually functionally identical, isn't she? She's a legitimized bastard, which I'm not sure is right. Oh, no, that is right. Okay, we're, we're fine then. We've got nothing to worry about, correct? Cool. So let's blitz ahead. Now, one thing I noticed we have got access to ever since we became the King of Bohemia is we have the option to form the Slavic Union. Now, the original goal was to form the HRE. Um, bear in mind, it doesn't exist in this bookmark, and I don't really remember us becoming the ruler of, of the Holy Roman Empire. The Emperor, if you want to call him that. But now that I can see that we have access to the Slavic Union, things are a little bit different. Because I've never done this before in CK2, I don't think. Now, maybe very, very early when maybe this was first added. But we haven't done it for a series, and I think if we're ever going to do it, now's a pretty good sign. Better mind, we've already got Bohemia. We came from Poland, moved down into Bohemia. Now we can kind of go back. So we need the kingdom of Bohemia, Poland, uh, Galicia, Volhynia, Volhynia, however you say that, uh, Kiev and Rus, Chernigov, Vladimir, and Novgorod as well there. Um, to be able to form what I assume is going to be a big old fuck off empire tier title. That's quite fun. You also need 5,000 prestige. Ancestral legends tell of a time when the three brothers, Lek, Czech, and Rush, went their own way to fertile lands for their people. Today, countless generations later, all the children of the same ancestral blood united under my rule, so it's only fit that we rid ourselves of our old and petty borders and formally establish one land. That's cool. I've never done this before. And I mean, that's going to be a fucking massive kingdom, right? Kevin Rush alone is going to be huge. Wow, this is going to be very strange. I um, don't know quite what's happened to the borders around here. That's all under Chernigov now. Wow, this is going to be a massive empire, too. I like this. Okay, fuck, fuck the HRE. 
let's stick to Slavic Union. It's worth pointing out that the Dungeon Master is still set to the same frequency, which is on average every five years. Um, that has not changed, but the way certain events are going to be handled will have changed. So um, tracking down at the results event is going to be a little harder, but I can always adjust some of the events. Obviously, I didn't have time to rewrite the whole thing and fix all the events for the new system. They still work. It's just they're a little bit more hard to see the actual ramifications, whereas before we were told about who became um, a, a, a dwarf fortress. Uh, these days, we're not. I would have to go and find them manually, but obviously, it wasn't difficult to find them. To the nice queen. Wow. <laughs> to the nice queen queen, Nanfuck. Staying idle is not in a warrior's blood. Um, sure, why not? Now, I d I'm not putting too much stock in Nanfuck. I will admit, she's 52. We're not going to try and obviously launch the legend bar with her or anything like that. We're looking to really play as a young character. We do have elective gavel kind. So, I might pick someone who's pretty young. Oh, Faddle has gained genius. I'm pretty sure Faddle was supposed to have Prodigy. Again, I think all the traits have downshifted. See, Frank and Nancy's only astute now. Right, okay. So all the traits have downshifted where I've added a new trait or, or a few into the game. Um, let's see if we can get you elected then. And to be honest, he's not coming out badly at all. And this is when we were educating. Rowdy, haughty, brooding, fussy, willful, playful. Means that martial education is guaranteed for this kid. Like, he's going to come out a good martial educator. Um... What about, I think, Stewardship too, given he's got Broody and Fussy, right? Playful. He's got half of what we need for a diplomat. Playful and affectionate is for diplomacy, isn't it? He's got a lot of options, and I don't believe too many of these play against each other as well. So they said there's a mad alchemist or wizard who lives in Horodic, dabbling in dangerous arcane arts, such as trying to find the potion to immortality. Say no more. Music to my ears. Ah, now the downside to that is the immortals are probably going to be horribly broken, because, of course, their traits have changed. So I don't very much doubt the immortals are still immortal. We'll take a look in a second, though. Um... Sure, he must be here somewhere. Holy shit, I hope this has got a follow-up event where we can actually find him. Seems like one of the mods is updated too and changed. Is that the colored buttons mod? Is colored even more buttons? Crazy how it do be like that. Um, we'll ignore the Dungeon Master for now. Now, bear in mind that's the Dungeon Master that came in mid-save. The Dungeon Master in the history files that will exist when you load in is slightly different to the guy that we've got mid-save there. Um, but I won't spoil too much about that. Anyway, what are we looking for? Immortals. Let's see if they still... Oh, they do still exist. Um... Yeah, they do still exist, and they look absolutely fine as well. Bear in mind, all of these guys are... Oh, my God. I didn't notice that one became the Queen of Sweden. And she's Adult of Destiny as well. Um, so, just like the Child of Destiny, she has access to all of the... Um, all of the caster spell that a Child of Destiny would have, too. Shit. Okay. Uh, how long has she been the Queen of Sweden? Did she take that? She conquered it. <laughs> oh, no. Um, keep an eye on Sweden. Because I have a feeling they're the only real immortal character of destiny right now that's, that's picked up a lot of speed very, very fast. Have we got any Jukes? No. See, that it's just her. And then we've got one in Denmark, Egypt, Sweden again. Oh, my God. There's two in Sweden. Three in Sweden. Four in Sweden. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Keep an eye out for that. I feel like that might get out of hand quite quickly. So, Faddle is 12. Yeah, martial education, like I said. Oh, sorry. I was wrong. It was actually Intrigue. Um, that he's also very good at, but Rowdy does go against Intrigue there. Okay, sorry, I always assume that Playful and Fussy is for Stewardship. Um, particularly is that one is Stewardship-based. That's very strange. Uh, Brooding is Intrigue-based. Yeah, you can see why that would add some confusion anyway. Um, Marshall it is then. Obviously, we're going Marsha here. Now, a lot of these traits can also end up being pretty good. Obviously, best case scenario here, what have we got? We've got Brawny, we've got... Uh, cruel, I guess, for a Marshall Educator for that little extra damage. We've got Just, we've got Patient, we've got... Ambitious or brave would be fantastic. And then playful gives gregarious, deceitful or lunatic. Playful, anything is good from playful. I have I have a lot of high hopes in this kid. Chilla Duchy of D underscore Din underscore Reb 26488822. Uh, yes. Yes, we will make that. We'll go ahead and shut that at someone. I don't know what exactly that's all about. Here, you can have that one if you want, fella. Oh, what, what happened to all our council? Maybe they shuffled into a disease and died or something like that. Very weird. Okay, um, let's go ahead and give that to... Give that to you, seeing as we certainly don't want to hold it. Oh, shit. Um, I'm unlanded. I should get the title. Brother, I don't think you understand here. It's not a landed title. Uh, what are we? We're 8 out of 8. See, that was a separate realm. We've got too many duchies now, but I, to be honest, I just wanted to get rid of the notification there. Um, right, okay. Let's go for my religion, my culture. We'll dish it out to... The issue with, obviously, martial characters, they are a little bit of a double-edged sword in that they can both provide a lot of troops, but can also be a pain in the ass if they do decide to rebel. Um... I mean, Janislav isn't bad. Oh, shit. Let's go rule and no. See what I can dig up here. I mean, you're just. Peter. Peter, my good friend, this is for you. Uh, let's give him... Which one did I want to give him again? This one. This one here, right? Z... 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 Z
Here we are. And then you can also have these fucking counselors. I hate them. I hate them all. I'm going to have to bribe them all, aren't I, to give away a duchy level title. They hate me because, of course, we've got too many duchies. Classic CK2. Who can we buy a favor from? Uh, we can buy a favor from our chancellor. That'll do. That'll be enough just to... Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> so many people requested this event in the comment section that I decided... Yeah, okay, we'll add this one. <clears throat> Mrs. Doubtfire. One of my favorite movies begins the Dungeon Master. It's Lethal Weapon 2. Anyway, I'm flipping all your sexes. Enjoy. All landed rulers flip sex forever. We are now <laughs> Queen Nan fuck the man. We flip back. What happened there? Oh, uh, have we escaped the curse? What the hell happened there? King Hughes of France. So it was only for some reason we flipped back. King Martin. <laughs> um, the Pope. No, Pope's still, Pope's still a man. Um, okay, so I guess... Oh, Queen Adriana, the judge of men of Venice. How does that work? Well, you're not, I mean, women are allowed to rule, rule the republic anyway. Uh, ge genuinely a woman ruler of a republic? Adriana is a female name. I mean, the names haven't changed. And quite obviously, that's a, that's a man's face right there. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Pope Eugenius. Oh, wait, is that a woman? With... <laughs> don't question it. Okay, well, that's fucked things up rather nicely. I don't know why we flipped back. That's peculiar, because it definitely worked, because we were a man there for a second with a beard, but we've... Maybe there's something in CK2 to prevent a player character flipping over. I will admit, I've never really tried it before. Oh, it was a lady pope. Look, she's been... She's been kicked out. Oh, no, that was a man pope. Oh, he just died. I see. That was that was convenient. Uh, in a grand announcement, the Pope declares a crusade for Bavaria. That's nowhere near us. I mean, it's literally right on our border. What I was concerned was, is I picked up a Bavarian uh, Bavarian province accidentally. But no, we're fine. Okay. Uh, and that's again against King Natchani, the lapdog of Hungary. Look at Queen Inga now. <laughs> She's been turned into a mighty mighty warrior by the, by the might of Odin. I mean, she was already a pretty fucking mighty warrior, but now she's a mighty warrior with a beard, which, as you know, makes you a more mighty warrior. Um, what's happened there? Why did we just lose our... Oh, because we're leading troops now because of raiders, right? Got it, got it, got it. Let's go over there and clap them. I'm pleased to announce after a period of peace pros um, prosperity, the management of doing doing quite well, thank you. Um, some days being a queen is no easy thing. There's always business and vassals. You s spot a stranger dressed in a simple garb. I shall invite this woman to talk with me. What is this? It turns out that the stranger... Zawina Slava is a nun on the way back to the cloister after several months. Uh, we can invite her to rest by my hearth. There's an excellent inn from here. Uh, isn't it better to suffer in the point of pilgrimage? Okay, you shall find rest by my hearth. I don't recognize this event. No! Holy shit! I think this is the first time ever in the history of the channel we've had the chess with death event. More often than not, you retreat to your chambers in the evening, feeling exhausted and weary. Tonight is no exception. Falling asleep is easy after a long and taxing day. However, recently, sleep seems to elude you. You are sitting in your study, idly moving chess pieces on the board before sipping a glass of wine, hoping it should give you the rest you seek. Suddenly, someone knocks at the door. Who could it be at this hour? Before you can shout and intrude to leave you alone, the door opens, and it's Zvenis Slava strides in. Good evening, my lady. I never realized I introduced myself properly. I am death. I am here to collect you. A dagger glinting in her hand. Now, chess with death is very, 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 very difficult. And I don't believe that our character is skilled enough to win it. I hate to say. Um, I challenge you to game of chess or we fist fight her. 20% chance. Do we go pure dice roll? Obviously, we've got we've to go for the game of chess, correct? Okay. Before we get too heavy dedicated to chess, let's see if we can convince, while the game is paused, the council to vote for our successor. I don't believe it's possible, because they have to respond to us requesting their help, don't they? And I don't believe this actually pauses the game ever. Um, if we go request succession support, uh, we can't. We have to buy a favor first. Okay. Um, we'll try. I will try. I challenge you to a game of chess. Oh, it does. It does uh, tick in between rounds. We might just be able to pull this off. Uh, Zuna Slava raises an eyeball and moves look on her face. Why not? I have all the time in the world, though you are simply postponing the inevitable. Nanfuck, you sure to lose. She sells in a chair opposite you and paces... Oh, say, so do you want to play white or play as black? We'll go as black. Give her the first move. That's a kind thing to do. 
I'll play as black. Yes! Ah, uh, succession port. Boom. Come on. Oh, fuck. Only one. Only one. Um, Is that enough? That's enough, though. We're fine. Black, my lucky color. What it matters not, Xanastava says with a nonchalant slug. Slug? Shrug. What is the strategy of the first part of the game? Play the safest. Uh, Good move, neutral move, bad move. Great move, good move, terrible move. I'm not above cheating if the opportunity presents itself. 100% chance of making a good move because we are deceitful. Boom, do it. Wait, she's got Game Master too. I'm pretty sure Game Master gives you a bonus to winning. I don't know if that obviously works for the AI. Well, Zanislava is certainly an accomplished player. You managed to capture a few more pieces than her during the first part of the game. You don't like the look on her face, however. Thank God for my good fortune. Let it continue. Call in succession support. Just in case. Just in case the other one dies or whatever during this. Dear aunt, let's see upon you. Yep, call in succession support. Thank you. All the councils suggest that Mighty Faddle take control. Okay. You tried to keep your nerves in check, although it's nearly impossible. You're in the lead. The scowl on Zanasava has renewed your hopes. Or is it a trick? What is your next move? Uh, shall we offer her drinks because we are a hedonist? I, I feel like offering death drinks is not going to help. I almost cannot believe it, but surely so. The plan is successful. While your mind is sharp enough, Zanasava seems to have lost some of her focus. You can fill up her cup again and she nods absentmindedly in response. I have never won the Chess with Death event, by the way. Uh, I've never met such a... Oh, God. <laughs> Huh. This is one of the uh, this is one of King Fox's many sons. There, I see. Never have you met such a tenuous, unnerving opponent, and being in such a stake. The game is nearing its end, and seemingly against all odds, you have the upper hands. Anasava slams your captured rook down the table. I, I could be persuaded to return this to you for the right price. My life of my son, Vincenzi. If I lose, he is yours. Done. He's a bastard anyway. <gasps> During the last few moves, it feels as if time is standing still. Random disjointed thoughts flash through your mind. Place you once visited, old friends you've not seen in years, dreams you gave up on. Is it too late? Suddenly you see it. The move with a shaking hand, you pick up, pick up your bishop and set down across the board with a soft thud. Checkmate, you whisper, looking into Zanislava's eyes. For the first time this evening, you can finally see it, and it chose you to your call. This is no mortal woman, but death herself. Seems you've outwitted me, Nanfuck, so I give you a few more years, she sighs. It's of little consequence. In the end, all come with me. And then, as you blink, she's gone. I've never won that before. And we never had the event before. And we won it first time. Wow. Uh, you feel stronger. We get death's gift giving the following effects. Health plus two. The lawmaker blood of Queen Nanfuck gets something happening to it as well. Oh, look at that. When death came knocking on her door, instead of giving up, Queen Nanfuck challenged death itself to a game of chess. Using every knowledge of strategy and all the tricks in her arsenal, Queen Nanfuck managed to defeat death and postpone her death. Death is my drinking buddy. We gain 300 prestige, 0 0.5 health, drunkard, and month prestige. Any sacrifice is acceptable to survive. 300 plus prestige become known as a bloodline, giving negative piety, prestige, and general opinion. We gain bonus to health, and we become resilient to battle injuries. Okay. I defeated death, giving general opinion, health, monthly prestige, and 100. Or we've got other options too. Oh, that's it. So I guess it depends on... I see. It depends on your options, right? So death is our drink money because we picked the heat in this one. Any sacrifice acceptable to survive is either because we cheated or because we s offered up our son. Um, I think I'm going to go with our defeated death. General opinion plus 5, health plus 0 0.5, a month of prestige 0 0.5, and 100 prestige for that one. Um, the health bonuses are nice, but we're talking an additional 0.5 health for minus 10 general opinion if you're directly comparing the bloodlines there. Uh, this one, I think, is quite nice. Now, resilience of battle injuries is also pretty good. You can get that with Warrior Lodges. I think we will go... Ah, oh, this is a hard choice, isn't it? Prestige, Piety, General Opinion, minus five. It's quite a hefty Prestige and Piety hit, though. Health plus one. Fuck it. Any sacrifices necessary to survive, do it. Let's see what that has in store for us. Oh, that's cool. The selfish blood of Nanfoot the Unfaithful. Nanfoot values her life above all. When playing a game with death, she sacrificed her loved one to increase the chances of winning. That was because we sacrificed our son. Got it. Is he mad at me now? Uh, 96 opinion. I guess he doesn't really care. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <clears throat> so this is an event. I feel like I need to explain this event because it looks... It looks a little bad. This event can target any religion in the world, which means it is, it is again, fully compatible with any total conversion. It will pick a random religion. Again, if you're playing Outer Kings, that might be Eight Divines. If you were playing uh, Game of Thrones, that might be Faith of the Seven. In this situation, he's chosen Jewish, which... I th which is why I kind of felt like I need to explain a little bit. Uh, I've been doing some sciences recently, and I've discovered that actually Jewish is wrong. All wrong. It always has been. Here's my notes. Do with it what you will. 
Is he allowed to say that? Oh my god, he became an ambitious falconer. You're not supposed to be able to do that. <laughs> All Jewish rulers will convert to a heresy or another religion of the same group. Yeah. So that is now officially the end of, uh, of, of Judaism in CK2. Gone forever. So if we go down to ABCDFG, uh, HI. Oh man, a lot of them flipped to Samaritan. Look at that. Uh, what are the other groups in... It's like Samaritan, there's... Shit, I can't even remember. How rare is it that you play a, a Jewish heresy though, huh? We've got Karaite. They've all come out of nowhere. Wow. Yeah, that they are they are genuinely all gone. Obviously more will spawn in because of the base game mechanics. That, so that can affect any religion. They could have just hit us with the... Uh... <laughs> there you go, the Samaritan faith triumph. The adherents of the Jewish faith has steadily dwindled down to the point where Samaritan believers are the majority. That was another community suggestion as well, so i got to give... Oh my god, he's done it again! Brother! <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! The Dungeon Master has decided to redistribute the world's wealth equally. Unfortunately, he himself is in a staggering amount of debt due to his crippling addiction to mobile games. After the money is gathered up and equalized, the grand total is well less than what everybody expected. All, fallers, all rulers fall into debt equal to their average earnings. Fuck. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh shit. Um, I want to see Venice. How much did they get? Oh, they only got hit by 3,000. Wow. Uh, hefty. To be fair, we've been doing a lot of economy. Yeah, we're getting 26 gold per month. And it's something like six years worth of income. Um, hefty. That is a hefty, that's a hefty hit. But it's all rulers. So we haven't got to worry about France going to war. We haven't got to worry about Germany sweeping us up. We haven't got to worry about Estonia or anything like that. No one can go to war. Now, again, because it's it's scaled wealth, which means if you're playing tribal, don't expect to end up with minus 6,000 because tribal earn only a small amount yearly and it's six times their small amount. They'll probably only end up like a 50, 60 gold in debt. Where it's around like ours where we've been min-maxing, uh, specifically building buildings that have a lot of tax income. We have just been fucked by that. I'm looking at some of these larger realms. Uh, Rush Punter is minus 4,000 down. We've got uh, Utsang in, in Tibet is down 2,700. Shit. I don't like Cordoba. They're pretty large, aren't they? Uh, down 7,600. We actually found someone richer than us who's lost all their all their gold. I mean, France was not too bad, were they? Minus 2,000. Shit. Well, that's not ideal. This is going to cause real chaos. This is another one of the apocalyptic ones. Shit. Chief Yaroslav of Orekovo Z... Z, Z whatever. Swinging her axe of Perun wildly. When a shriek of pain cuts through my air, Stagman realizes that the voice is my own and opponent has managed to slice off half my chest. We've been mangled. Shit, the axe of Perun. That's not fair. Oh, shit. Sartwets so cannot be stolen or seized. Perun's challenge will be issued to nearby Slavic rulers when inherited. Wow. Holy shit, there's no wonder we had our ass handed to us. We are not going to survive that, are we? I think even with our healthy, healthy bloodline. Um, yeah, there's no shame in acknowledging a worthy opponent from our fucking deathbed. It says minus, minus five health overall. But to be fair, death's gift was plus two and the bloodline is plus one. So this is kind of equivalent to just having a bad flu. There might be a giant hole in our torso, but that's not such a... Oh, shit. I'm going to... Okay. I thought it was worth the gamble. Bearing in mind that we're most likely going to die anyway. If we do survive, I don't want drunkard. My dear liege, I was approached by Borojov's, uh, this man who convinced me of a vile heresy. Catholicism, how dare he? Demand reconversion. I mulled it over carefully and I follow my heart and mind. You're a demand. <laughs> what a weird... What the fuck? Demand religious conversion? No. Demand religious conversion? Okay, fine. Oh. She's gone? Wow, there we are. Queen Nanfuk has given up the ghost at the age of 54. She died a natural death. Having been mangled in a terrible accident, Nanfuk spent their last years barely able to walk. Death has finally freed her soul from her crippled body. Sultan Faddle... Sultan? <laughs> what? Uh, sorry? Sultan Faddle, merely 13 years old. The realm was left in capable hands of the regent and council. Long live Sultan Faddle. He's Bedouin. He's Bedouin because his grandfather was Bedouin. What was his grandfather? Ah, oh, because we invited that guy to court who was a good commander and I made him. My god, he also died mangled. That's two generations of... Uh, uh, but two siblings there that just got mangled to death. Wow. 
Look by the sword, die by the sword, I guess. Wow. Sultan Faddle. Let's see what we can do. First things first. Obviously, we give him the best region we put. Uncouth! Stinky! Okay, give him the best educator straight off here. Um, genius, diligent, kind. Nur. Nur is also educated about five generations of our family. She's a grandmother. Wow, good for her. Oh, what the fuck is this? Nanblex? Nanblex? What the fuck do you think you're doing, Nanblex, you stinky? Claim that. Oh, right, we need a council first. It's a little bit laggy looking at her because she's one of the daughters of King Fuck, so there's a lot going on there. Uh, right, let's... Uh, my last episode was demonetized, by the way, um, because we had Nan fucking King Fuck. I don't think YouTube would be particularly happy about me saying that. They are just names. I would like to point out, YouTube, they are just names of human beings, and if you've got a problem with that, makes you racist. Collect taxes. Uh, you train troops. You form statecraft's probably not a bad idea. Let's scheme. Let's scheme, and let's also bribe our spy... Bribe. Our wealth was reset because we fucking died. Ah, sensible play, you say? That puts us in a distinct advantage. Every other realm is languishing in debt. We're free. Wow. Okay. Really happy with that. That was a big brain play that I definitely intended to do, obviously. Uh, <laughs> let's make you whatever's the highest uh, Seneschal that we are. Um... Blacksmith. Can we convert to local culture? Bohemian. We need 500 prestige. We'll try and do that as soon as possible. Because right now, a Bedouin heretic leading... Uh, what? He also broke free. You son of a bitch. Vincenti. It's it's the two children of King Fuck. They both broke free. Oh. Okay, well, we'll deal with that in a second. We didn't lose anything else, did we? No, the rest is ours. We need to reclaim those as soon as possible. Can we just go ahead and strip declare war right now? Now that we've got the council on board. Yeah, they're up for it. Um... So it's against one of my family members, but they did break free, so I think she's fine with it. Claim it. Uh, what would give us the most prestige? 100 prestige from that one. Force vassalization gives us 100 prestige. Du jour claim gives us 100 prestige. Uh, 100 prestige from that one as well. Okay, I guess we'll just go ahead and push that one through. Why not? We could du jour claim the actual province. That way she loses the land and we can give it to someone else. That's probably a better idea. Otherwise, we'll just vassalize her, right? Because we're going for a duchy. Let's declare a simultaneous war. Um, debt, those guys aren't in debt, though, right? Because they became splinter rounds after the death of our our fair and just mother. Right, you're gone too. Let's do it. It should be a pretty easy war, I think. It's, it's just two relatively basic splinter states there with, I can't imagine, a huge amount of troops. No, they don't. Okay, dogpile on. Good ship. Let's merge. And let's put some commanders on here. Um, oh, what I meant by that was commander on here. Okay, auto assign. We're not terrible, right? Uh, yeah, okay. They're pretty good. Who the hell is Aglab? We've probably got like a... My brother, Aglab? Who is our parent? Frank and Nancy. Oh. Right, so we are the... We are the... The, 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 the grand nephew of... Um, our previous character. Right? Yeah, because that's... Okay, got it, got it, got it. Oh, no! You're not around here somewhere. I have a very magic book, and on each page I can write the names of my enemies, and they seem to disappear. I'll do you all a favor. Tell me a name, and I'll write it down on your behalf. And people say I never do anything nice. That's pretty good, because we're 14, which means we've got it for potentially another 50 years. I think we save that just in case the Child of Destiny decides to come for us. God, they've gained a lot of land. Holy shit, they've gained a lot of land really fast. That way, if they decide to come for us, we can just kill them dead, and that'll make the Casas Belli and because it's the Child of Destiny invasion, right? So this is probably the safest way to go about it. There's one down. Let's go and... Oh, deceitful's good. And he got ambitious. Oh, because our guardian decided to become our rival. Oh, that's a shame. I appreciate I appreciate our grandmother there for, for actually doing that. My God, look at his stats. 13, 15, 19, 17, 12. Good entry, good stewardship. And we're trying to train him in Marshall. So he's going to be... It's going to be a great ruler by the time we're done with things. And we'll rename him when he is of age. When he's 16... When his education is complete, we'll see how he comes out. And if he is deserving of the name Nancy the Second, I will grant it to him. As a reward to show that good rulers of a good realm are recognized as such. He is he's up there. He's not on par with original Nancy, all hail. He is close to Nancy. He's a bit like like on the he'd be like the commander to Nancy's captain. I like that. Compose a book. Well, this kid can compose a book already. Fantastic. Okay. Um, let's double down. Let's go Marshall theme all the all in. Oh, let's also engage our 2G tower as well, if you don't mind. Give our plus five vassal opinion. Oh, colored buttons. 
Oh, it looks a little bit odd now. I quite like the mod when it was just these because it gave a nice distinction between them. But this is a bit... Maybe it's maybe it's specifically for... If anybody knows, if anybody has experience with this, maybe it's specifically for particular types of colorblindness. Then again, they are using red and green on the same bar, right? Hmm. Don't know. Let me know what you think. Uh, I think they've, they've kind of overstretched things a little bit now, and it's got a bit weird. Uh, let's go military organization. Let's go construction. And uh, let's go for... Legalism. Yeah, regulate inheritance. Yeah, I think we need to go for that as soon as possible. Courtier Manuel has offered to travel to the Dai Empire to bring glory to the Sultanate of Bohemia. Uh, of course. Go with my blessing. The Emperor likes Latin Iberian culture. Oh, okay. Send him then. I didn't check his diplomacy skill, but I, I trust that it'll be not a terrible idea. Oh, fucking hell. This is a little bit too fast. I think we can all agree. This is too frequent. Chaos reigns. Would you with your fancy chairs and castles make rules for other people and don't follow themselves? It makes me sick playing with people's lives like that. Well, we're taking away the rules. Morality is out the window. Arrests and plot power will be far easier for the next year. And top of the Death Note 2. That's a weird combo. Because bear in mind, when you use the Death Note, if I were to say Target Manuel right now, tell his name to Dungeon Master, kill him dead, his family members, which he doesn't have, um, would want to hunt us down. But more specifically, if you were a vassal in a realm... Under the King of Germany, you killed off the King of Germany. His family members would know about it. His heir would be able to just throw you in prison straight away. And they would succeed, too, because of the purge. Now, again, I, uh, bear in mind, last time we had this, it didn't really last long enough to be relevant. But I've increased this now to every five years. Um, or specifically, it lasts five years. Wow, this has been pure chaos this time. I like every five years, but I think we're going to run out of events very fast doing it that method. Oh, shit. Brilliant strategist. Gain diligent for free. We gain wrath. We gain stubborn. We gain arbitrary. To be fair, though, 27 martial, 22 stewardship, 19 intrigue. Heavy cavalry leader. It's not really too relevant, I will admit, but deceitful. I mean, ambitious, wrath are all good for martial. Diligent is fantastic. We've got greedy regardless, which is pretty good. Stubborn, not ideal. Stubborn, I'd like to get rid of. Same with arbitrary. I think we'll go rulership focus for a little while. See if we can get rid of arbitrary. Um... He did say, let my rule begin, so I believe this is what he wants as a character, and I'd also like to, as soon as possible, flip. Ah, oh, there's two wars. Got us within got us within range, but we're not quite there. Another another 50, and then we're good. Ah, uh, burn her. Who are we burning? A bedroom. Burn her. Ah, excellent. I can, <laughs> I can count better. One witch burning, two witch burning. Got four out of eight, I just noticed on our domain size as well. So what we might want to do is quickly start fabricating claims on the other provinces within our duchy level title, our, our capital duchy. So we can start taking those back, specifically Plazen. Um, what is all within... Right. Can we not revoke that one? Do not go to war specifically to... We have a claim on our vassals will not object. Yeah, give me that back. Let's just declare war for the duchy by accident with that one. Um, it's Moravia. And then we've just got Plazen. So I guess we'll drop our... I imagine our vassals like us pretty decently, right? Um, we'll dish some gifts out here as well. It's for our rival... Nana. I don't know why it makes them rival. It doesn't make any sense. You, you force them to be ambitious. They get a quite clear benefit out of it. But then they try and murder one another. I mean, I get what they're trying to imply with that. As you kind of pushed them way too hard as a kid. And now they resent you for it. But they wouldn't murder you over it, I don't think. Anyway. Oh my god, he's here again. I did not... Uh, you know, I didn't actually train to be a dungeon master until like my 600s. Before then, I was a maths teacher, but I didn't want to be, to be that cruel my entire life. I think it would deserve a second chance as well. All rulers gain a second education. However, it's just occurred to me, I fucked up the scope on this. Uh, and now, when we pick that, we also gain another education. Uh, so I'll go ahead and remove... We were randomly assigned scholarly theologian, so I'll go ahead and remove fortune builder. Child of destiny up in Sweden gained charismatic negotiator. Brilliant. Uh, not that it's really helped out too much. It's taken up to a whopping seven diplomacy. Wait, without that, they were at one? I didn't even I didn't even notice that. Oh, look at that. One morning, I wake up before my guards have attempted to rouse me. I hear an excited chatter coming from the main hall. As they open the door, there's a bustle of servants filling the castle. Manuel has returned from the court of the protected general, they gossip. Comes bearing gifts. Proud to bring souvenirs from the Dai Empire. Manuel gains proud. 50% chance of getting brave. We gain 300 grace and 25 gold. Thank you, Manuel. What can we actually do with, with China right now? Um, you like him so much. Why don't you marry him? <laughs> what a kind gift. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Now, about the thicker and also balls. Um, Nanstentia. Be gone. We might as well ship him off, right? We're not going to use him. Um, send the bones of St. Peter. We're not quite that desperate. Thank you. Let's take a scholar bureaucrat. See if we can find a wife for Sultan Faddle. Now, it's going to be quite difficult because we're a weird culture and a weird religion in the part of the world where we shouldn't be either. 
Um, shit, this is slim pickings, huh? 26-year-old attractive woman. Okay, let's go for... If you don't mind, let's go ahead and reset everything. Um, let's go women who are preferably unmarried, who are preferably within Diplo range. And let's go ahead and save that as Bill, sir. Oh, no, that's my culture, my dynasty. We're going to set up to that one then. Um, rule up, preferably not as well. Let's try that again. Sometimes it is worth checking that. Um, but we're not going to be able to pick. I mean, let's be reasonable here. We're not going to get female rulers. Uh, let's go for Prodigy. What do you think? Uh, Cathar. She's a heretic. She's a Catholic heretic. She'll, uh... <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. I want to see if I can invite her to court. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Invite with promise. No. Minus 50. That's possible, then. I think we're within shooting distance of that one. Opinion of it's plus 10. Minus 40. Um, if we're trying to just arrange marriage between her and us. We should not marry an infidel. Um, shit. Uh, other promises. Oh, what else can we give her? It's just that. It's either grant council position or none. Damn, she's really good. There might be a way... Oh, hang on. She's almost willing to join our court anyway. Uncouth, but prodigy. Fine. Done. And we lose 90... Oh, we lose 98 prestige for that. Okay, let's convert to Bohemian to start off with then. Just so we're not so... Should we not become king? Should we not be... Should we not be king now? Frank and Nancy died of the dread, dreaded plague. Brilliant. Let's try this again then. Uh, prodigy. Perfect. Done. We are a negative... Oh, we can just get it back though. Why? Oh, because her father's account. Okay, yeah, we're good. I think today has been sufficiently chaotic. I am back accepting requests from now. Uh, bear in mind that the core mechanics of the mod have been overhauled. It should make adding new events pretty simple as well. So, feel free to start checking those at me again. I'm still working through the old videos. Bear in mind, it's taken me quite a long time. We're getting hundreds of comments per episode, and I can only really add a couple of events a day. So, it's going to take me a while. Please bear with me. But I'm hoping we can get this released pretty soon. When it, whenever it's ready. I'm not going to I'm not gonna try and force a release. I know it's in episode 5, but I want to make sure this is nicely polished before we push it out the door. Thank you to Scorch, Jonah Waters, Asana Kirito, Zulu, Justin Rules, Nikki Sticks, Angelo Paul, Oliver, Cobalt Lotus, Zazzy711, Tom Terror 18, James Shea, Sweetie, Noah, DKO, Odie, Sirik313, Justin Wallace, and everyone else at the insane tier levels on Patreon for making the channel possible in the first place for allowing me to have the time to make all of this crazy shit. Thank you to Mohammed, Irotha, Talar, Shittledur, Elta Mosley, Will Wade, Hoopalia, Peanut Gorilla, Russian Oligarch, Billionaire, Night Rouge, I Am Sagatair, Donald, Llewellyn, Thomas, Cass, Shlomo, Void Prince Kibo, and Mason Fireblast, along with, of course, everyone else over at Patreon for, for keeping the channel going. Without these guys, we wouldn't even have a fancy Dungeon Master now with 100% more of a face 